label the location of the four quadrants. On the top right we have quadrant 1. Next to it we have quadrant 2. And then we have quadrant 3. These are Roman numerals. Finally we have quadrant 4. In which quadrant is theta located? First we have 120 degrees. Theta, we start on the right, we go counterclockwise, and we end off around here. So this here is theta equals 120 degrees in standard position, and this here is quadrant 2. As for minus 45 degrees, we don't go counterclockwise, we go clockwise. Minus 45 ends up around here. Theta equals negative 45 degrees. Next we have theta equals 400 degrees. 400 degrees is beyond one full turn. One full turn is 360 plus 40 more. So we go all the way this far and this here is quadrant 1 and the previous question is quadrant 4. Finally we have theta equals 270 this is 90, 180, 270. We are between quadrants 3 and quadrants 4. So between these two quadrants. Let's sketch in standard position. Theta equals 200 degrees. We start up from the right. We go 180 in the counterclockwise direction plus 20 more. So we go all the way this far and we end up in quadrant 3. As for negative 90 degrees, we go clockwise this far. Negative 1,100 degrees. One full turn in the clockwise direction is negative 360. Another full turn becomes negative 720. And we have another full turn is negative 1080. So we go one, two turns, and now three turns and 20 more to reach negative 1100 is approximately here. So this here is theta in standard position in quadrant four. Theta equals 300 degrees. We start from the right. This is 90, 180, 270, and 30 more is around here. So this here is theta, it's obtuse. It's 300 degrees. The reference angle is always the angle formed between the terminal arm and the x-axis. So theta reference R, or REF, equals 60 degrees. Because 60 plus the leftover, 30 degrees, is 90 degrees. Now to find a positive co-terminal angle to 300 degrees, we simply add or subtract 360. So if we add 360, we have 300 degrees plus 360 is 660 degrees. In other words, if we start here at 360 and we add another turn, we end up facing the same direction. We're in the same angle. Furthermore, we can subtract 360 as well. So if we had 300 degrees, another co-terminal angle is subtracting 360. So we subtract 360, we have negative 60 degrees is co-terminal. So negative 60 degrees is a negative co-terminal angle, and we can find an infinite number of more solutions by continuing to subtract 360 degrees. Let's convert pi radians to degrees. Memorize that in pi radians, we have 180 degrees. Essentially, it's half a turn. From zero to 180, that's half a turn, it's 180 degrees is pi radians. And when we add another 180 degrees, we have 360 degrees equals 2 pi radians. So pi radians is 180 degrees. Now let's convert pi over 4 radians to degrees. We just mentioned that pi radians is 180 degrees. So 180 divided by 4 is 45 degrees. It's good to visualize this as a right angle, and half of 90 degrees is a big pizza slice. 
it's 45 degrees, which is equivalent to pi over 4 radians. Finally, we have pi over 6, another very special angle. We have 180 degrees divided by 6 is 30 degrees. These are smaller pizza slices. We divide 90 into three parts. We have three slices of pizza. So when we're talking about theta equals 30 degrees. It's equivalent to pi over 6 radians.